Since reporting on a serious rat problem in one Philly neighborhood last night, our inbox got flooded. It appears rats are really a major issue across our city. And some of those emails we got went right to you, may, who may now be our, our chief rat correspondent. Seanette Wilson joins us, and I want to say, Seanette, how'd you wind up getting this disgusting story? <laughs> but you pitched this story in our afternoon meeting, so the floor is yours. Running off at the mouth, <laughs> won't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got this assignment. And so here we go, Seanette. Night two of the rat beat. That's on you. Okay, so I didn't know you were doing that, so I started talking. <laughs> but first of all, <laughs> put some respect on my name. It's Emmy Award winning Chief Rat Correspondent because, you know, we just recently won an Emmy, right, Jason? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, what happened was in the meeting, I really just wanted to give an update on the story we did last night. But of course, the producers took the rat and they ran with it. So <laughs> here I am tonight in Northeast Philadelphia. I talked to residents who live on Granite Street. Um, they also have construction going on in their neighborhood, and they also believe that that. That is what is sending rats, restless rats, on the move. They're not garden insects or anything. These are rats. Cell phone video captures a rat taking up residence under a bush in a neighbor's garden in front of her northeast home. Tanisha Carter says the rodents grew to be such a problem, she had to get a man to dig up her garden. He said he found four holes, right, Ms. Murray? And he had nests. He said he found four nests. Carter says her two sons, Caden and Kai, first noticed the rats at 7.30 in the morning while heading out for school. Three, four, five of them going between our neighbor's yard over here, my yard. Her neighbor, Fern Klein, says she saw my report last night when we spoke to two women about the rat problem in their North Philly neighborhood. It reminds me what's going on here. We have rats this big, I kid you not. And I'm afraid to sit on my porch like that lady said too. Klein also got rid of her garden and shows us where she's had to seal holes with cement. Right over here, there was a rat's nest. She says she's called the city's vector control about five times. They came out once, they told us what to do, and they never came back. Neighbors have been using this rodent repellent outside their homes. Michelle Ortiz loaded up on other products to use inside the home. I had to call um, PJ Pest Control because they are so bad. They believe this construction site a block away is where the rats are coming from. I've lived here. 27 years that we never had this problem. And one of the residents says uh, she's called the city again several times to come out. Um, she says that nothing is being done, so they're hoping to get some resolution there as well. They did say the city says that they are overwhelmed with calls like this. Meanwhile, an update to my story last night. A city spokesperson says staff will go back out to that North Philadelphia neighborhood, Shana, to launch a new investigation and hopefully get the problem fixed there. Let's hope so. I smell a part three to this story coming. Oh, you but I'm have sure a you're hoping they solve it too. <laughs> Thank Jason, you, Jason, you did hear what I said, though. Emmy it, award winning. That's oh, right. Yeah. Recognized. That's, uh, tomorrow I'll refer, refer to that. <laughs> we'll get it right. Thank